Well, let's uh, bring you up to date. Uh, we showed you videotape earlier of how Sid Vicious became the unified world champion, not uh, in the way that most wrestling fans would agree it should no, be done. Do you indeed. think? No. And, uh, you know, his next uh, opponent was determined in uh, a battle royal. A match was held in Memphis at the Mid-South Coliseum. And the winner of the battle royal got the shot at the unified title that very night against Sid Vicious. Indeed. What a battle royal it was, too. Let's take a look at some of those highlights right here. Goes over and grabs the Missouri Tiger, Jeff Gaylord. Apologize, Gaylord. Apologize, it's legal in the battle hall. Catches it lower in the midsection. Couple of big guys, but the power bomb ended at Jeff Gaylord. You gave him a go up till then. Let me tell you something, Dave Brown. I've been in athletics for over 25 years now, and I've never been in a situation like that before. You see, Tommy Rich Pyle drive me twice there. He jammed my neck so hard it pinched a nerve. I had no feeling down the side of my body. I'm not one to make excuses. I'm not one to make excuses. But let me tell you something, Sid Vicious. Let me pile drive you twice. And then let me come out and kick you from behind like you did to me, you big coward. Well, I've rededicated myself, Sid Vicious, and I'm fresh and ready to go, and I got the feeling back in my fist. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to get a rematch with you, buddy. And when I do, you're going to feel just like I did the other night. With all my those bones of my body almost broke, you're going to get paid back, brother. Just watch. Jeff Keylord. He had the challenge for the unified world title. He earned the right by being the last man uh, in the ring at uh, the Battle Royal. However, Sid Vicious with the power bomb ended up retaining the unified world title. Jeff, very unhappy about the, uh, the events there, especially about the power bomb, I think, and being hit from behind. Referee Kevin Christian is in the ring right now, and I hear the music, and I think... We're just about ready for action here in the USWA today. T.D. Steele, that's for the ring right now. I don't envy him at all, let me tell you. 
because here comes the unified world champion, the very large and powerful Sid Vicious. Sid's almost twice as tall as T.D. Steele as he steps through the ropes and sets to do battle in a non-title match here today. Instead of Tracy Mooney, it's T.D. Steele going against Sid Vicious. Here's Corey. Thank you, Dave. Sid Vicious, six foot seven, 295. What a big dude. Let me tell you, this guy, certainly no pushover at all. Unified world champion, and uh, man, he's doing it to D.D. Steele right now. That's still over on that top rope. Sid Vicious, known in the wrestling world, as a tall tree, what a big guy he is. He is vicious, boy. T.D. still a fighter trying to fight his way back. Comes off the ropes, catches a boot from Vicious. Puts him right down to the mat. Unified World Heavyweight Champion right here today on the USWA. And he is Sid Vicious. Backs T.D. Still up. In the corner. Oh, it slaps T.D. Still. Just an insult. Yeah. Nothing but an insult. From Sid Vicious. Oh, he's got him around the throat. Oh, oh man. Not strength from this Vicious. Look at him. Pull Still out of the corner and just throws him back in that turnbuckle again and T.D. still day weighs 220 pounds no pushover but vicious just he's just outmanned here today there's no oh. doubt about it by Sid Vicious T.D. a man uh, who comes out with all kind of confidence in every match but I don't think he's got much confidence left right now the way Sid Vicious has just been pounding on him one blow after another. Sid Vicious now. Oh, look out. Setting up for the power bomb. That's his big move. He picks up Sid. Oh. Takes him now with that power bomb. Oh, boy. Puts his hand. Two and three. That's going to do it. Unified world champion. There he is. Look at Sid Vicious. There he is, the unified world champion. Says he's, did he say, did he say he's ready again, Lawler? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think uh, Lawler's probably ready for him, too. Oh, yeah. Lawler thought that he would have another shot at him after uh, Sid Vicious took the belt by forfeit after ambushing Jerry Lawler last week. He's coming this way. Uh, yeah, here's yeah, Jeff Gaylord. Can you help TD Steele here? Hey, 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 hey. Hold on a second, Gaylord. It was seen to me after Monday night. You had your fill of me. What in the world are you doing out here? He's out here just to help TD Steele. After the power bomb, Jeff making sure TD gets out of the ring, okay. Here comes Spike Huber. Spike Huber also out. Spike and uh, Jeff Gaylord attending to TD Steele as his referee Kevin Christian after he was blasted with a power bomb by Sid Vicious in a match. Uh, Jeff Gaylord is, what? Spike Huber has just jumped Jeff Gaylord from behind. What is this? What in the I world? I thought Spike was out here to help T.D. steal. Well, he did come out to help him, Dave. And all of a sudden, just turns around and nails Gaylord from behind. So it's Huber and Vincent. They're doubling up on Jeff Gaylord. T.D. still rolls out of the ring and yeah. gets about to get out of here. He's gone. Man, you can't blame T.D. for getting out of here. Vincent, Look out. Gaylord. With help from Huber, he puts the power bomb oh, we've got to get some help on Jeff. Jeff Gaylord. Jeff being double teamed. 
by Sid Vicious and Spike Huber. Oh, no. Now Gaylord is laying in the middle of the ring. He is out. Holding on to his neck and head, hit by the power bomb twice in the same week. He was hit by it uh, in the match with Sid Vicious earlier in the attempt to capture the unified title. Sid Vicious and Spike Huber. Spike Huber. Can't believe what's going on here. We thought you were just out to help T.D. Well, Steele. Well, didn't I help him? I helped Satan yeah, yeah. to be humiliated Monday night. What else do you want? See, Davis, this is simple. Last week I came out here and I told you that the USWA, that the hierarchy changed the day I walked in here. That means that I was the man on top. It's just like in the African Plains, my friend, if you watch National Geographic, it's like the lion, when he gets too old to fight, the new one comes in and takes over. And then everybody wants to fall behind him. You see, Spike, my friend, he's a smart man. And me and him, we go back a long way. And together, he'll watch my back. And I'll watch his back. There's no way. And there's nothing going to stop us. No. Gaylord, not you. Not that short midget by Christopher, or not you, the man they call Kingfish. <laughs> not even you can stop me, because the people are going to carry him out. <laughs> That's great, brother. It's just a sign of the things to come, my friend Spike. The sign of the things to come. Everybody will be stretched out. Everyone will be carried out. Shockwave. And why? Because I am the man that rules the world. That's right. And he is a man that will stand the sun. You got it. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like the looks of this at all, I got to tell you. Gaylord can thank me anytime for the favor. Get yeah, up, weatherman. Sid Vicious, the unified world champion, and now an alliance with bodybuilder Spike Huber. Oh, oh. That could be big time trouble. Back in a moment.